We pray, deliver us from evil. And sometimes even make the sign of the cross to remind us where that deliverance comes from. Uh, your baptism. Because this, this only means I'm baptized. You're not allowed to pray as if you're not baptized. You're not allowed to pray as if you're stuck down here. Uh, we pray in this petition in summary that our Father in heaven would rescue us from every evil of body and soul, possessions and reputation. And finally, when our last hour comes, give us a blessed end and graciously take us from this valley of sorrow to himself in heaven. You're not allowed to pray as if you're not baptized. So you're not allowed to pray as if you haven't already died. Do you not know that all of us who've been baptized into Christ Jesus have been baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ is risen from the dead, we too may walk in newness of life. For if we've been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. You're not allowed to praise if that's not true, which means you're going to die in this world, but you're not going to stay dead. So we pray deliver us from evil, recognizing we already have the victory. We pray deliver us from evil, recognizing just how dangerous it is down here and ever clinging to the fact that God has already saved us from it. And so when we pray, deliver us from evil, we can remember that he has. Uh, you're not allowed to pray as if you're on your own down here. You're not allowed to pray as if it's your job to save yourself. You're not allowed to pray as if God hasn't already done the work. We pray, deliver us from evil, and then remind ourselves of our baptism to point to all the places where he already has, and then recognize that it's not just sort of a once and done kind of thing, but it's a daily thing. Daily, you are baptized. It's not like I was baptized. I am baptized. In this moment, in this very moment, old Adam is drowning. New man is being raised to live before God in righteousness and purity forever. In this moment, in this very moment, I am a sinner who is washed clean every single instant of every single day. And so if I die today, tomorrow, or hundred years. Uh, if, if the Lord comes back first, I'd be swell. But in all of it, I, I get to sort of recognize that I am not alone and I am already saved. So when I see evil, I can also see the deliverance. Deliver us from evil.